be no wrong. I'm saying 90% of them, 95% of them, see no wrong in how he's acting and what he's doing. But I listen to Kirk Franklin and I listen to what's happening in the music business. I listen to what's happening in churches and see what's happening in churches and my own personal battles. I know that if I'm battling things personally that that are in the Christian arena, there are others battling as well. But God sees it all. But it's just to remind us that we're in the year 2019. The month is October. Pretty soon, 2020 will be here. God has something in store for us as a nation. So as you listen to the rest of this, bear in mind, God is still in control. That they chose this man to be president of the United States, to represent America. And we have a sense, one nation under God with liberty and justice for all. This is scary. This is 2016. But one thing you do need to remember is this. God is still in charge. God is still in charge no matter what. And he sees things that we as human beings don't see. Some of us didn't vote. Some of us say it didn't make a difference. But you have a responsibility to vote. And if you didn't fulfill that responsibility, that fault is yours. I did vote. And I believe all of my family did vote. My wife and I went in the polls this time together for the first time.
yourself his first love. You know who your first love is? It's God the Creator, the one that created you as a human being. He loves you in spite of your iniquity. He loves you when you were being made in the womb. He knew you. God loves us all. The good, the bad, and the ugly. That's why I say this, our first love. But anyway, um, I'm in a test phase for how Secret Life Gospel Block Talk Radio. We've been off the air for a while. We've been playing um, from our archives of uh, over, I read over 1,400 songs. We've been, I mean, programs that we recorded, some good, some bad, ugly. Uh, but we have recorded a lot of programs in the past. And um, we've been playing from those archives. We're going to be back up soon, but we have to get out computers, all that stuff uh, online and up like it's supposed to be so we can continue to uh, bring you good gospel music. So um, as we continue here on How Super Like Gospel Blog Talk Radio, sit back and relax and enjoy the program as you have in the past. And remember, as Tim Rogers and the fellas are saying, your number one friend is God Almighty, your Creator, Jesus, who sits at the right hand of the Father right now, waiting to hear you say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Raheem is on um, 
Radio as well this morning. I'm going to play a song. Um, Who are you going to play? It's called Run for the Border. It's in reminder of what's taking place down on the border, the immigrants and people trying to get in. Run for the border. Guns for the border. America's down there. God's watching. I want to stop that there just for a moment uh, to talk about something uh, in regards to the border. Remember how President Donald Trump uh, talked about Mexican going to build that wall vehemently, talked about Americans can build in that wall. And you know how how much they crucified President Barack Obama about you can keep, if you want your insurance, you can keep it, and how they crucified him for that. Very much is being said about that lie he told. In fact, President Donald Trump has told many, many, many lies. And he's just continued to roll on. There are things happening in this country that just doesn't make absolutely no sense and it's because of Satan and the deception of the devil and guess what it's going to continue to happen as long as we that are aware of it are silent just like Kurt Franklin said your silence is saying something and it's not good um, it is awfully hard for a Christian to sit still when the devil is shaking the bushes. But you know that your faith lies in Jesus Christ and that you are, as a Christian, are supposed to live and speak and act and walk in a certain way. You got your battle. You got your battle. You got your battle. You got your battle. And I'm telling you this. You have a powerful battle. You have a powerful battle that you have to battle. And the thing about that is this. God is awfully good. He's awfully good to all of us. And there is something for you as a Christian to do. Don't just sit about idly and twiddle your thumbs and things like that. Tell somebody the truth about what's taking place. You know it's not right. You know in your heart it's not right. Whether they're black, white, pink, or whatever color they are. A special shout out to my friends Jeff Hawkins and Mr. James Riley. I haven't communicated very much with Brother James Riley lately because it seems to me from my perspective, I may be so wrong. I may be absolutely wrong on him. But it seems to me that what's taking place in this country, he finds so much fault with other things, but um, just seems to think everything is okay with the president. That's just my perspective. I may be wrong. I may have to talk to him again in that regard. But I still love him and care about him as a Christian as we all do. Um, And I hope you feel the same way about me. But... uh, Me and my life, I have a tendency when a person seems to go so vehemently against my understanding, my beliefs, and what is in my mind said about a situation and a different thing, I just stay away from it. I'm not silent now, but I just allow that particular element in my life or that particular person to go ahead. Uh, And I often sometimes think about him and pray about him and hope he does the same thing for me. Because there's something happening if you can't see the wrong that's going on in this place. It's not just his black folks. It's not just his white folks. It's not the Mexican, Puerto Ricans, Jews, whoever. But anyway, there isn't but two types of people, Jews and Gentiles. And-